Satoshi Kon is a Japanese animator, writer, and director, famous for his works in Perfect Blue, Paranoia Agent, Millennium Actress, Tokyo Godfathers, and Paprika. Kon works solely in 2D animation, using the medium to accomplish things that would otherwise be completely impossible in live action. And being a huge fan of 2D animation myself, he quickly became my favorite director. I believe that Satoshi Kon is an irreplaceable talent, being stylistically unique, thematically rich, and well and truly distinguishable from the many talented animators and directors within the industry. And my only goal is to convince you that Satoshi Kon's films are worth watching and you should check them out. So let's get started. Satoshi Kon is a brilliant visual storyteller with a serious attention to detail and background information. He's able to craft incredibly personal, realistic feeling spaces, such as the early scenes in Perfect Blue with Mima's room and her daily life, as well as in Tokyo Godfathers with a depiction of the homeless and immigrant community in Tokyo. However, Kon's real genius and trademark animation lies within his obsession of blending reality with more surreal elements games, films, dreams, pop culture references, and the internet. There's a feeling of starting from a more realistic point of view, in which fantasy is then mixed, finally finishing with pure fantasy. Rather than showing the reality of the situation, Kona is much more interested in showing how something feels. The most straightforward example of this being Ohio, a one minute short showing how it feels to slowly wake up in the morning. Unfortunately, however, with the most well-known animated films being for either kids or family, the medium is often viewed as being devoid of any proper thematic depth. Kahn himself lamented that the Western perception of animation has kept many of his films from reaching their target audiences. And all of Kahn's films, while they can be enjoyed off visual spectacle alone, are made with a detailed thematic intention for a mature audience. And while his visual direction certainly distinguishes him, it's his storytelling that cements him as my favorite director and an artist truly worth recognition. Satoshi Kon's films tell stories about people struggling to identify and come to terms with themselves. In his debut film Perfect Blue, the main character moves from being an idol group to being an actress and struggles with her identity as her public image shifts and the line between her private, public, and online life become progressively more blurred. The story is incredibly tactful and discreet and is a criticism of idol culture and misogyny and objectification in the entertainment industry, as well as the increasingly more relevant internet culture of the 90s. I think this is a gap everybody has, male or female, famous or anonymous. I mean, there's a gap between the image people see of me and what I see of myself. Perfect Blue is about the tragedy caused by the gap becoming too large. The animation style of blending time, space, and reality is incredibly compatible with his themes. As the character struggles with themselves, we are shown how they feel through the visuals, and we are made to sympathize with them, as we are just as confused as they are trying to figure out what's real and not. It's the difficulty of figuring it out that's the core of the film. So long as you accept that it's meant to be inexplicable, that's fine. Kong's films hit right in the middle of being fun and entertaining enough to watch, and also being layered and nuanced enough to give it proper thematic depth and lasting impact. As a matter of fact, Kohn's visual and directorial impact can be seen in many famous works, with directors like Christopher Nolan and Darren Aronofsky even having direct homages to scenes in his films. Without Satoshi Kohn, it's possible Inception would never have even been made. And as an art student myself, a lot of my work has been influenced by Satoshi Kohn. And this is because his work has been and will continue to be a huge inspiration to me. Unfortunately, Cohn's career was cut short because he passed away due to pancreatic cancer at age 46, 2010. And the film he was working on at the time, The Dreaming Machine, was left with 600 out of 1,500 frames completed. In the letter released after his passing, Cohn stated that his biggest regret was not finishing this film and having let down all his staff by leaving it unfinished, and he feared that the film would never see completion. Despite the studio's best efforts to raise enough money and find a director with a similar vision to Kohn, in 2019, it was concluded that The Dreaming Machine would be left unfinished, out of respect for Kohn's final intentions with the film. Satoshi Kohn is an irreplaceable talent, stylistically unique, thematically rich, and well and truly distinguishable from the many talented animators and directors in the industry. His films are worth watching, even if you get many, many viruses downloaded them.
But this video is only a small part of what makes Satoshi Kong so great. And my only hope is that I was able to scratch the surface and encourage some sort of curiosity in you. So if you have the time and if you're interested, please check out Satoshi Kong's films or learn more about his life. And until then, thank you for watching. What the?